everybody, I'm Jennifer Seeger and welcome back to my channel, The Seeger Stories. Today is a very exciting video. I am going to show you what I am packing to take on our Disney World trip. So it is actually about 8.30 at night, um, the night before we leave, and we're settling into getting packing. So I thought I would take a few minutes and just show you everything that we have packed for both a Disney Parks trip and a Disney Cruise trip because we are doing a land and sea trip. So we're going, we're going to be in the parks for five days. And then on the sixth day of our trip, we will get up early and take Disney transportation from Caribbean Beach Resort where we're staying to the Port Canaveral where the cruise ship is going out of. So I feel like there was a lot to pack and I just like to be prepared. I'm a person that would rather have like 10 things I didn't use than to have one thing that I wanted or needed that I didn't have. So that's kind of my packing philosophy. So I just wanted to bring you through what we are taking on our trip. Let me start by showing you the clothes that I'm packing. Okay, so I'm starting with our suitcase here. First of all, this is a mother load suitcase is what it's called from eBags and I will link it below we picked these up. Actually, Nate has one that he's bringing as well. It is a little bit bigger than we wanted initially, but there was a suitcase that I'd had for years that I'm getting rid of, and I really wanted something that was kind of half suitcase, half duffel bag. I don't know how I feel about this bright orange lining. And then it also has these external support rods, which I'm not crazy about, but they are really big suitcases. This is their maiden voyage, so we'll see how they work out. Um, but the style was right, and the size seemed a little more than we need, but plenty. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly what I have packed for clothes. Now, a lot of times I will go on trips and I will set out day by day like what I want to bring for my outfits. And this trip is just kind of up in the air because the weather's gonna be so warm and we're probably taking midday naps at the hotel and I thought I might want to change after that. So kind of broke up my suitcases. First of all, I just brought a ton of t-shirts. Uh, these are just you know, nothing really fancy in here, kind of tried and true comfortable ones. I do have a lightweight uh, sweatshirt in here and then just a lot of leggings and a few pairs of shorts. And then on the side here, I packed just a variety of dresses. Honestly, I don't have a very big wardrobe uh, for summer and early fall. And this is kind of all the clothes that I own that really fit me right now. So it made packing easy um, and it just packed in the bottom here. So I have this top compartment, um, this kind of duffel just to fill. So let me show you some of what I'm gonna fill that with. So this is our guest bed, and there's a lot of stuff laid out to kind of get organized. I'm just gonna bring you through. I'm not gonna talk about these. These are just packing cubes. I got them on e-bags. I've had them for years and years, and I will put a link below, but I just have socks and what my mother calls unmentionables um, in one of those, like underwear, stuff like that, you get it. This is what I think I'm gonna pack my toiletries in. It's a packet flat case, also from e-bags. I will link it below. I've had this for, Oh gosh, upwards of 10 years, it's seen some better days. And I I don't use it a lot, but sometimes when we're trying to cram a lot in a suitcase, I will bring that along as well. This I'll link below, and I'll just link everything that I can below just in case you're interested. This I picked up from Amazon. It is just a drawstring bag. I think we are going to use this when we get off the cruise ship. We will be going to Disney's private island um, and want to take some things. You know, they have towels and things there, but like sunscreen, and I have some of that packed. I'll show you in a moment. This is a multi-purpose USB charger that I was just using, actually, and pulled out of a little case that it goes with. This is a wet dry bag. I picked it up on Etsy quite a few years ago, but it's just got my swimsuit and swimsuit cover up. And you're probably wondering what's going on back here. So we are going on a Halloween on the high seas cruise and we got an email saying that we should bring costumes. So here is Sully <laughs> and underneath there is Mike. Um, the itinerary hasn't come out for what night we are wearing costumes on the ship, but we know that it's coming. Um, so I actually found these on Amazon. They were pretty reasonably priced. They're just like onesie costumes and they were really hard to fold like that. So I'm going to leave them. And then we bought slippers, um, just to wear shoes on the cruise ship. And then I'm leaving these out with 
the costumes my mom actually was kind enough to sew us corresponding color face masks so have those set out for our costumes this is just a rain jacket that I'm bringing along and then this I'm actually filming with my camera right now but I will be adding my camera just to this little camera bag I have this set of again from e-bags um, they're nice little padded containers so I have um, just extra camera strap in there and then a camera neck strap but like I said when I'm done filming this I'll be adding that I'm bringing along some assorted flip-flops I've got a couple pair um, that go with dresses I thought that was easiest for sandals um, this is a pair I'll see if I can find a link to these below I've had them for a while they're UGG they're like the comfiest sandals ever and they look really cute with dresses and then I'm just bringing some to wear on the beach as well and of course I always need a hat for the beach also in footwear I'm bringing I'm gonna wear a pair of sneakers in the morning and then I'm bringing this pair of Nikes and then I have these super feet inserts. I've had these again for, um, I think this is my second pair actually. I got my first pair like 10 years ago or more. Um, but these work really well. If I flip, switch them out with the Nike, so it'll kind of be like having two pair of shoes with that Nike pair. And then I always love the Asics. These are the Gel Nimbus. And I think they quit making the Gel Nimbus. These are a few years old, but um, I had a pair that were trashed and bought a newer pair and these aren't quite as worn in. So I'm gonna bring those. Underneath here, let's see if I can get this out without it being too crazy. Lighting's getting kind of bright there. Okay, there I got it. So that folds down really small. That is a pop-up hamper. I get really tired in hotel rooms of trying to keep clean clothes and dirty clothes <laughs> separate. So I just pack this up and it lays really flat. It weighs nothing and it'll lay just on top of my clothes in the suitcase. So that will be really easy to use. This is kind of a weird thing. We have been moving and packing up and doing so much. This is just kind of a foam roller for sore muscles. I've had shin splints for days. I'm having some issues with my feet just from so much moving and packing and lifting and all of that. So I've been doing this every night and if it fits, because it's it's pretty lightweight, so if it fits, it's maybe gonna come with us just to help because I know we're gonna have sore muscles at Disney. So these are toiletries I haven't yet packed, um, but first I wanted to go through some of these pouches with you. So um, this one, well, first of all, these pouches, let me see, I have, sorry, I'm grabbing an empty one. So this is what they look like. This is one that I didn't use. I had gotten these at um, Sierra Trading Post years ago, a few years ago. They're travel on, and then I just bought another set on Amazon. So again, I'll link it below. Um, but they're really nice so you know kind of what you're dealing with. And instead of bringing um, everything in like a bigger container, I broke this down. Now this you may have already seen. This is kind of an alternate to go in the parks bag. It's got a couple cooling fans, cooling towels. And then I did also throw in an extra pair of socks here. So. Um, I'll link the video above if you haven't seen my what's in my park bag video. This is what I was talking about. This will get dropped in the drawstring bag with anything else we want to take with us. Um, just got some sunscreen. I got this bug spray off Amazon that is um, kind of an all natural one and then it should be good and rated for the beach just if there's like sand gnats or whatever they call them. I'm bringing kind of a junkier pair of sunglasses because the ones that I wear regularly are, I feel like, too nice to take in the ocean. And then I've got some lens wipes for that as well as some gum in here because I cannot be in the ocean without gum. Like, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, there is a little bit of salt water that gets stuck or gets in your mouth, I should say. Um, hold on, I need to get this open. Okay, hopefully I have this zoomed in a little bit so I can show you what's in these pouches and have an extra set of hands to open them. Um, the other thing we're taking in the beach gear bag is just some nose plugs. I bought these on Amazon, a pack of four. I actually had a very old pair from when I used to live in Hawaii, but I needed to get um, a pair for Nate too, just in case he wants them because we are doing snorkeling as one of our excursions and I always have trouble with water going up my nose when <laughs> I'm snorkeling. This next tote, just calling it like housekeeping miscellaneous. I have a nightlight. We picked these up. I think they're picked these up at IKEA. 
I think is where we got them. So it's just always nice to have if you're in a place where you don't know where the bathroom is at night. I'm bringing along a little container of dish soap and I just, I filled this up um, here so we can wash out water bottles and things. And then likewise have a little sponge so we can get that cleaned out. In here I've got just my Fitbit charger. I am bringing my Fitbit, but because I'm wearing a magic band, I don't know if I'll be able to wear it all of the time, but I definitely want it so I can have a watch while we're on Castaway Key. Um, I'd gotten this from somebody as a shower gift. Like they gave me a whole bunch of personal care stuff and thought it would just be nice to throw in and have along some disinfecting spray. Um, I'd read this tip to bring uh, just liquid hand soap so you don't have to use the bar soap in hotels and we started doing this on our last trip to Vegas and I loved having it so got that and it's antibacterial so that's also good. We don't use these. These are a couple Tide Pods just in a little I don't know Tupperware kind of container um, and I don't use Tide Pods but I thought it was the easiest way to bring along some detergent because we are going to be in the parks and then have to kind of pack all those sweaty, grimy clothes. I thought if we have time, maybe on our last night, I will try to maybe do a load of laundry. I don't know if I will, but I wanted to have that as well as this is just a little baggie with a couple fabric softener sheets. I wanted to have those along so I have the option if I would like to do that. Um, these I showed in my Disney Parks bag video. If you did watch that, uh, they're just a couple skins. Uh, for a magic band and I ordered them both. They were, you know, like three bucks each on Etsy and I just couldn't decide. So I'm gonna bring them along and maybe I wanna change things up during the week, but right now my magic band is just plain. Um, I've got in here a little poopery cause well, you know, and then just some Clorox wipes. I have these in my park bag too. I don't know that I'll use them really in the hotel, but I wanted to have along extra cause I don't know how much we'll be using them to like wipe down a table. And then a couple other things. This I just had on a hand, so I really can't link it below, but I know you get like a daily navigator they print out um, to put in your stateroom on your cruise. And this is just a little, it's magnetic, and then it's a little hook. I don't know if it's focusing really well here. Try to get that to focus. So it's just a little clippy hook um, to hang that. And then um, also got these on Amazon. They are just little uh, clippy hook things they're kind of stuck together right now but to hang up lanyards and masks and you know whatever else I know there's at least one hook in the room but thought these would be handy okay my next little pouch I'm not going to take this all out it's pretty basic I just have some of these um they're liquid IV and again um just wanting to stay hydrated in the park and then I have these emergency we have a couple pulled out that we are going to have in the morning just you know, in general, travel can be tough. And with COVID times and everything, I thought it couldn't hurt to down an emergency just before travel. This is a mask bag and I'm not going to take it all out because it's, it was impossible to shove all this in here. But here I have some black disposable masks. And then my mom made us several cloth masks for the trip. Actually, I maybe will take these out because they're so cute. I know I showed them in another video too, if you've been following my channel. Oh, before I can get those out though, um, we do have these. And I picked up a multi-pack of these on Amazon. They are mask lanyards and they came in a variety of colors. Um, I actually just ordered them so we took the variety pack that could get here as quickly as these did. So there we go. Um, so it's got these little metal clippy things that you just hold your hold your mask on and then this actually will tighten around the back of your head to keep the elastic from pulling on your ears or it just sits around your neck and holds the mask. So in Disney right now, you do need to wear a mask in all indoor attractions, but you don't need to wear them outside. So I don't know how that's going to work if we feel comfortable enough that we will take our masks offside, um, off when we're outside and then put them back on when we go into an indoor queue or attraction. But obviously the lanyard's gonna make it really, really easy to transition and do that. So, um, and then all of these, there's just a ton of them in here. Thank you, mom. Um, our masks that she made, she made a couple in patterns, mostly um, these will be for Nate. 
their Buzz Lightyear and he's wearing one of those tomorrow. And then he's got a couple in this pattern. Got this at Joann's Fabrics. I just bought the fabrics and sent them to my mom and she's so sweet. She made us a bunch of masks. I'm wearing this one tomorrow on the plane. And then um, I also have a couple of this plaid print. This one I got from Hobby Lobby and the rest of them were from Joanne. So super cute, just elastic, um, kind of the square mask that goes over your face. So we have a lot of them we're bringing because I feel like masks can get so dirty and just with the heat and humidity, we'll want to trade these out uh, daily probably. I'm gonna stick with the pouches and show you what's in a few more of them. So. This is, and I have them in a different one. I think I got these on Amazon too. Um, but just to differentiate that these are for the cruise ships. So we don't need these on the parks leg of our trip. But I got this on, see if I can focus it in there. I got this on Etsy and it's super cute because on the cruise ships, they have the light switch you actually need to put a card in it so this you can put it in it will keep the lights on when you're in the room you can use your key to the world card that they give you on the ship but this is just kind of a cute little thing and then the walls are magnetic in the stateroom so it's got a little magnet so we can just pop that on the wall and then have that go in and out for turning on and off the lights and then i also picked up these again it was it was two separate purchases on etsy um it is a little get it to focus here kind of a clear let's see if I can get these to focus in it's a clear pouch um, that we can slip the card into our key to the world card but then this also is just a little cheat sheet discovering the dream so it tells you like where the service is and then in the red it tells you what area of the ship you can find it so if you're looking for like the skyline bar it says right here it's at you know four aft so you know where to go in the ship and then um it's double sided because there's a lot of uh places to go and things to do on the ship so we got these little cheat sheet cards on Etsy and then also bought the plastic pouches so our key to the world cards will go in the pouches there and I know if you are sailing like a second time with Disney Cruise Line they give you a lanyard this is our first cruise so we bought these lanyards also on Etsy and again I'll link them below just Mickey and Minnie for Nate and I and the rest of what is in here we've got our passports now my passport is in my maiden name and I just never re-upped it and kind of missed the deadline because it was much longer than I thought. So in addition to needing that, I am bringing our marriage certificate with my current driver's license. The marriage certificate will act as what they call a bridging document and I will have my current ID. So that will be enough to get me into the Bahamas and then I just tucked in here as well. I also need, I'm sorry, my birth certificate and our vaccination records are all inside of there. Um, we do need these. We had to register, sorry, one moment please. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna show the whole thing because it does have like some sensitive information and some QR codes, but you have to register on this third party website called Safe Passage right now to cruise with Disney Cruise Lines. And then you print out this online check-in port arrival form. So what this is gonna show is that we've already visited the Safe Passage website, we've uploaded the documentation to show that we are vaccinated, and then there's some QR codes for them to scan along with our personal information to let us on the ship. So that's very important if you're cruising right now, you need that document. And then lastly, we got these sent in the mail. So when we um, depart from Caribbean Beach Resort and get on to the Disney transportation that will take us to Port Canaveral, they have tags that we put on our luggage and these will make sure that they get delivered to our stateroom on the Disney Dream. So these tags will get the luggage to our room once we are on the Disney Dream. We also signed up for a service to have them pick up our bags the night before we disembark and our understanding was that they then take the bags from our stateroom the night before and we don't see those bags again until we would land back in Minnesota like they would take the bags and they would check them for us on the flight now I talked to two different people with Disney Cruise Line one had assured me that service is still in place and we are signed up for it so we can leave our bags outside the door and they'll pick them up. We won't see them again until we're in Minnesota. However, 
I got disconnected from that first person that I talked to and the second person I talked to said that this service is suspended right now due to COVID and they would pick up the bags outside of our stateroom the night before we disembark, but then we would rejoin with our bags as we went through customs when we were disembarking from the ship. So really, all that service would save us, according to the second person, is not having to bring our bags through the ship when we disembark. So we're like, is that enough of a service that I want to let go of my bags the night before and, you know, have minimal stuff to get ready the next morning? If they're taking them to the airport because we have such a long layover, I'm perfectly fine with letting my bags go and just having that service provided and that will maybe mean it's easier for us to get to Disney Springs or something like that. But if it's really only going to gain us not carrying the bags through the ship, then we're gonna hang on to our bags. So we are going to clarify with guest services when we get on the ship. Again, it just seems like there's so much in flux right now because they've just started sailing again in early August and things are changing so very rapidly. So we're gonna confirm that and I'll share in a future video like how that works out. But um, right now we're signed up for the service, but if we don't leave our bags outside our room, then that kind of <laughs> unsigns us up for the service or that, you know, they just can't take them if they're not outside the room. So we'll see how that plays out. But this anyway, these tags are what's going to make it. So when they pick up our bags from Caribbean Beach Resort, we won't see them again until they get delivered to our stateroom. Okay, I do have one other pouch that we are taking with us just uh, for the cruise. So this is again, kind of this different kind of pouch. So I know we just need it for our cruise. These are some stateroom magnets. I'm so excited to decorate our door. I'll link the video where I actually made these magnets. Um, I just did them on the Cricut and we did Halloween on the high seas is our cruise. So it's our first cruise and our name and all of that. And then I do have our names in here. I won't take out all the little letters, but I have these little orange letters that say Nate and Jennifer. And then um, we also have a Mickey and a Minnie to adorn our stateroom door. So super excited to be able to put those up. The next pouch I have is pretty boring. This is all Ziploc baggies because if I bring them home and put them back in the drawer to use at home, I'm fine with it, but I wanna have everything I need and more than I need. I just have a few assorted sizes in here. I have gallon and then I have, oh, I guess they're all folded together. I was gonna show you. I have some really smaller, um, just like four inch square ones. Um, so just a variety of sizes. They probably would have stayed just in the bag on their own, but I liked how neat they were if I put them in a travel pouch, so I did. This one is nothing new really for Disney. It's in a Disney pouch. I actually got this from Amy Small World and I will link her shop below. She has a lot of cute stuff. Um, but this is just stuff that I actually take it out of my nightstand drawer, um, keep next to me, you know, just in case I need it at night. Eye drops, lip balm, earplugs, just in case. Tums, you never know, and then Kleenex, and this is a shea butter lotion that I like to use. It's my favorite um, from the body shop. Almost done with the pouches, um, but this is just a little kit for seasickness. So I've got some gingin candies. My sister-in-law made me a couple essential oil rollers that I'm super excited to try. We'll maybe use these on the ship, but also in the parks maybe because we have some drama mean pack too, but Nate can get a little sick, motion sick. So we got C bands. Um, that's all that's in this pouch. This is a big pouch. I'm not gonna unpack it all because you can see most everything through here. Oh, maybe I will unpack. Hold on, please. I'm gonna unpack this. Okay, I've actually got everything out on the bed here so it should be a little easier to see. Um, again, I've been having some muscle pain with everything going on so we're bringing some BioFreeze. And then I've got these Hydro Seal blister band-aids and just another variety pack kind. So we've got that well covered. These are just body glides. It's a tip that we found in some of the Disney vlogs that we watched that these are just so nice to have for, I mean, chafing heat walking around all day. It can't hurt. This is a container that I made the little medicine chest. I just made it from this lockables container that I picked up at, let's see if I can focus in there. There we go, so it's Craftmates, a lockables container, and you actually have to push in this little purple button to get any of these compartments to open, but it's, in essence, it's just a, a pill case. This is Tums, that's like Pepsid. 
bought some Dayquil and Nyquil just in case. Dramamine, Claritin, Advil, and then just some Tylenol as well. Okay, next up I just have some Moleskin. I already cut some down and put it in my Parks bag, but um, just taking more than I need because <laughs> you don't want to run out and it takes up like no space or no weight. Um, I have a scissors to cut it down and I always think it's a good idea to have a scissors because honestly, you never do know when you're going to need it. Um, just some foot powder and then I packed, just in case there are bud bikes, uh, some antiseptic and then a couple extra hand sanitizers. And then lastly, again, for sore muscles, this is just Epsom salt so we can soak our sore legs and feet and things. So that's everything in kind of our little first aid container. Okay, the next pouch I have is just a little larger. Here are two pair of ears. I am actually bringing three pair, but I'm putting one in my carry-on so I can wear it tomorrow. Um, this is a giraffe pair print. Um, I was wearing them in my Disney Parks bag video, and then Nate had got me these um, just from Shop Disney. They're this pretty kind of corally color. So bringing the ears, and then this, I almost didn't bring, I'm kind of on the fence, but I do paint my own nails and I just did them today. They should last, but there's always days where things chip. Sometimes even the second day I don't get it quite right and something chips. So if I have room, I do plan to bring, this is just a little lamp and just the polishes and things. And uh, Nate had got me this cute little case uh, for Christmas. So I'm gonna see if it all fits in there. I'm gonna bring that along. This is just a multi-USB charger. Now, you can't bring power strips on the cruise ship, but from what I've read, these are perfectly legal. This one's from Ikea, and so it's just floating out here right now. Might try to fit it in with some other stuff. Then, not in a pouch, but in a baggie, we have a few granola bars, some crackers, and then I'm grabbing some biscotti cookies. Just because food in Disney is so expensive, we wanted to have some snacks in our room because um, Nate loves licorice if we were to buy this in disney i'm sure we're paying like 10 bucks or something astronomical and it was like three dollars at home and then for some protein beef jerky so you can have groceries delivered to your resort you pay a five dollar fee but this is just small enough that we're bringing uh, to fit in one of our suitcases and it will leave some space to bring home some souvenirs and things I picked these up at Kohl's. I actually had some Kohl's cash a while back and nothing to spend it on and these were being clearanced out. So um, they have our address information on the other side, just some luggage tags that we will put on our suitcases before we go. I am bringing just an extra cross body bag and this is what I have. Oh my gosh, it has seen better days. It's Tommy Hilfiger. I've had it for years and years. It's just got a front pocket and then this main um, compartment with a few little pockets on it but it's just a nice little size I thought if we go out to dinner at Disney Springs or I decide I want a bag or something on the ship I don't have to lug around a big backpack so I'm just gonna bring that along we'll see if I end up using it I've got hair tools here this is my chi hair straightener this um, is just a Vera Bradley case but it's got my curling iron I use this hot tools uh, extra long curling iron that's inside of there and then this I know this is just for brushing and blow drying I know that they supply blow dryers but this I struggle with volume this gives me volume and I was on the fence if I wanted to bring all of these but then I thought it's my vacation and I really do want to look my best so um, they make me happy so I'm bringing it along I have this, I'll probably throw this in my carry-on. I'm gonna wear my glasses on the plane and then put my contacts in probably like mid-flight or something. Um, I wear disposable dailies, but um, you know, air travel's hard on contacts. This is another travel-on pouch and inside of it are actually, I got these little baggies. I get them off Amazon. Here, let me open it up. Okay, I get these little baggies off of Amazon and I use the label maker to just print out. Let's see if I can focus here. Print out each day that we're gonna be there and these are all of my vitamins that are pre-portioned. So um, taking those, this is, I like to have a mirror so I can see the back of my head. And then this is just a scrunchie and some hair ties, clips that I use for drying my hair, whatnot. Um, bringing Intuition Razor. 
a bigger tub of the Body Shop lotion. And then I mentioned I have contacts, so those are the daily disposables. Um, this is just everything I use for my hair. It's mostly Aveda products. I won't take them all out here, but I've got a thickening tonic, volumizing, foliamont, can't say, it's like a mousse gel hairspray, and then some dry shampoo in there, so that's kind of the hair kit. I don't like using a washcloth, so I'll bring a, ba a bath poof to use with the gel soap at the hotel. And then one of my dresses is rather staticky, so I've got some static guard along. Um, I get some eczema on my face, wrinkle release. And then I've got a couple kinds of deodorant that I'm bringing along. Oh, that lighting is very bad, hold on. Okay, hopefully that's a little better. I've got a couple different kinds of deodorant, and then this is travel size what I have, and the rest will be my regular size makeup. And then I have this Foreo, it's just a little face cleanser and my face soap, um, a little tiny bar. And then this is Victoria's Secret. I just like having a little perfume along. And then the very last thing I have here, this is a go tub, um, just a little pop container. You squeeze it and that comes off. I'm gonna use this to keep my everyday jewelry. Like I have, <laughs> it's kind of big, but a ring and um, necklace and everything that I take off every night. And right now I am storing some jewelry in it. I have this. I have these little guys. They maybe need some cleaning up. Nate got me all of these um, for various birthdays and whatnot. This is my birthstone little little Mickey's, and then this last pair. If I can get them open, are super cute. It was worth getting them to focus to show you because they're so super cute, just a Mickey and Minnie. And I know we got these on Amazon, so I will link them below. All right, so that's certainly a lot more stuff that we need to put in the suitcases. Obviously, it's not all going to fit in mine, but I'm going to get it packed up here. We'll get some in Nate's, some in mine, and uh, we should be all packed. Okay, so here is our luggage that's all packed. Everything is in except for just a few things that we'll use in the morning like our toothbrushes, deodorant, that type of thing. And then also my makeup. I haven't decided yet if I'll try to put that in the bag or if I will take that in the carry-on so it doesn't get broken. But this is everything. Didn't the luggage tags turn out so cute? Mickey and Minnie. I just love it so much. I'm so excited. So we are done. The suitcases are loaded. There were a few things that didn't make the cut just to kind of get some of the weight off. These are a couple things that are going in the carry-on, but also took out the extra Clorox wipes and the foam roller, and then also this hair tool, just because I don't want the suitcases to be overweight and I don't want them to be really bulky. The other thing that I did pack that we are using is just this uh, luggage scale and I will link this for you below I got it on Amazon we're gonna put this just in one of the top compartments of the bag but they're coming in at 46 pounds and 45 pounds so we pretty evenly distributed the weight but we are right up there at the 50 pound limit and that's not hard to do because they are big bags so anyway I hope you enjoyed this packing video we are so excited to be heading out on our trip really early tomorrow morning uh, we are actually getting a ride to the airport we're getting picked up at about a little after five o'clock and it's about 10 o'clock now so we are really needing to go to bed but I hope if you like this video, you will click that thumbs up button below and also subscribe to the channel. Got a lot more Disney content heading your way. We'll be filming our whole trip and I hope to see you back here uh, to share all of that adventure with you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>